Hey guys, what is up? It's Total Eclipse here, and today we are having a quick look at the state of the game live stream uh, for March the 29th. Now there are just a few little things that I've a point I've noted and wanted to talk about for the game, but the upcoming updates. Now, first things first, they've confirmed a bit of information about how scavenging works in game. So if you're the kind of player that goes into the dark zone and is looking for a better loot, or if just in general you're wanting better loot from AI drops on missions, uh, this is a very interesting and important note to bear in mind. Now, what we found out is that your scavenging Warning. level this area is contaminated. actually um, increases the chances of ha an, a particular item having better quality. Now, this doesn't actually affect how often you get loot drops, but the item quality. So. When you're going into the, the dark zone, you want to organize your gear into scavenging specific items so that you get the maximum amount of uh, scavenging potential and thus the, the best item drops possible. Now what does affect the item drop rate are certain perks that you find on various pieces of kit. I'm sure I have one with one of my pieces of high level loot that increases my drop rate by about 25% chance, which is a fair amount. And if we can combine that with our scavenging level, we're up to getting a large amount of higher level loot. Now moving swiftly on, the main bulk of the conversation on the livestream was actually about them fixing bugs and gameplay glitches such as the, the contaminated uh, backpack glitch at the moment that you can craft and then it will lock you out of the game. Now they haven't found a, a fix for this yet but they are close to a, a patch, they just want to make sure that the game doesn't break. Uh, once they implement this patch. So hopefully that will be coming shortly for those of you who have been locked out of the game and for those who haven't, just be careful when you're crafting. Uh, just be aware of the bugs and try to avoid them if possible. Now another little thing that they mentioned which I think is rather interesting is they are working not only on daily missions uh, but they are also going to give weekly missions which will also add to your loot, your high level loot, your um, credit bonuses, probably your phoenix coins as well, um, and they're also going to be implementing community challenges so that we can work all as a big community and achieve some great stuff. Now whether the community challenges will work similarly to the daily and weekly missions where we'll get um, a bit of loot and say Phoenix coins, or whether Morning. it actually now entering a contaminated uh, area. offers us new DLC, we've yet to Exiting see. It would be nice area. to get a few free pieces of DLC from achieving these challenges, such as maybe an extra objective mission or um, incursion, as we are hoping to find out within the next few days. But whether that does happen is yet to be seen. They also lightly touched on the dark zone and how they've also given a little reveal mentioning that the dark zone is going to see a few changes by changes they mentioned they are, there are going to be new additions and possibly new game modes. What could this possibly mean? I'm just going to speculate here but it might be that we see various missions that are dark zone specific. Maybe we are sent out to find particular items. Who knows? It might even be team based objectives which is another thing that I'm very much interested in seeing in the dark zone. But the question is, when will we find out more information? Uh, in regards to the incursions, well, I believe it's the incursions. They say there is something big on the way, and that is 
at what I can see in communications. At they, they've said that they don't have a definite date yet, or a definite teaser release uh, live stream yet. But when they do have one prepared, they will let us know via Twitter. So guys, if you aren't following them already, follow them if you have Twitter. If not, check out my channel. I will be posting regular updates on The Division, seeing as I am totally um, overwhelmed with it and enjoying the game so much. Um, if you did like this little update, please like the video. If you want to see more, obviously subscribe. I've tried to crunch uh, the whole half an hour live stream into as short an amount of time as possible so hopefully you guys can get it in a little bite and understand what is happening in game anyway guys thank you very much for watching and i look forward to seeing you guys in game also with the new patch i'm just wondering if the respawn rate for the um, elite units has been increased because I've literally, as you've just seen, uh, cleared out one area followed by the Metro Underground um, Station Elite to come out of the station and find that the refueling station Elite or named enemy has already respawned. So I've just cleared the area again, killed the guy, and thankfully been off, uh, given a high-end item. There you go, that's the scavenging for you. But it would be interesting to see how quickly they respawn now, and if this is part of the update which they haven't mentioned in the patch notes. Anyway, I am going to get rid of... Well, I'm going to extract these items, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.